A dive light is essential when scuba diving at night, but can also be used for daytime dives to explore underwater caves and shipwrecks. The deeper you dive, the more water absorbs certain colors in the light spectrum. When you use an artificial light, you can see the underwater world in true color. The dive light is waterproof to a depth of 295 feet. It's brighter than a car headlight, with six outer LED lights for flood lighting and three inner LEDs for alternate spotlighting. The dive light begins as a conceptual drawing. The mechanical designer sketches out its basic features and a few proposed shapes. Then the company creates foam models. Scuba divers test these models and provide feedback on the comfort of each shape. This market research results in the final design, a compact hand-mounted dive light with a user-friendly operating switch and three LED battery life indicators. The housing's components are made of durable plastic pellets reinforced with glass fiber. Workers load the pellets into an injection molding machine. The machine melts them and shoots the molten plastic into the proper mold for the component they are making. The machine then cools the plastic to a solid state and ejects the newly formed part. This is the reflector. It combines the light from the six outer LEDs into a single beam. It's coated in aluminum to increase the amount of light it reflects. A 3D printer produces prototypes for all of the parts before they are manufactured. Guided by a computer, the printer shoots out plastic to build the part in three dimensions from the bottom up. Once the prototype is approved, they make a mold for mass production. This part is called the light pipe. It has oval covers for the three LED battery life indicators and a waterproof seal. Once all the housing parts are molded, assembly can begin. They insert the light pipe into the main body of the housing. Then they attach a switch, which turns the light on and off. It also toggles the light between spotlight and floodlight modes. They don't need to pierce the housing to connect the switch. The switch slides a magnet over the outside of the housing. The magnetic field communicates through the housing to sensors inside. Next, they insert and connect the circuit board. Then the lithium ion rechargeable battery. They plug its connector into the circuit board. This cover holds the internal parts in correct alignment. A silicone O-ring forms a watertight seal between the main body and the light head. They snap the reflector over the nine LEDs, which are attached to a round circuit board. The circuit board is metal so that it will absorb the heat the LED lights generate. The screw-on aluminum bezel makes contact with the circuit board, transferring the heat out of the housing and into the water. They conduct the first quality control test in water. The dive light is turned on to verify that it will run for 65 minutes on a full charge. In the second quality control test, they submerge the dive light in a pressurized tank. This simulates the pressure the light would be subjected to at an underwater depth of about 300 feet. That's over twice the diving depth of a typical recreational dive. If the light doesn't spring a leak, it passes the test. They fully recharge the battery, which takes two and a half hours. At full charge, all three indicators light up green. As the charge drains, the indicators change from green to orange to red, then to flashing red. So scuba divers are never in the dark about how much juice is left in their light.